Hi there. Now for parts B and C, we've now got to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for these data here. And that's for three marks, and then go on in part C to interpret the correlation coefficient for one mark. And you'll notice that I've just recapped with the values we had to find in part A, SPP, STP, and STT. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check out your working, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part B then, how are we going to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for this data here? Well, I'm assuming that you're fairly familiar with working out the product moment correlation coefficient, R. Normally you'll see in your formula books, it's given as SXY all divided by the square root of SXX, SYY, where SXY, SXX and SYY are given by these formulas here. So we've just got to make a transition between using the X's and Y's to T's and P's respectively. So when it comes to working out that product moment correlation coefficient R then, it's going to be instead of SXY, it's going to be STP. And that's going to be divided then all by the square root of STT in place of SXX, and in place of SYY, it's going to be SPP. So it's just a question now of substituting our values in. STP was 2,369, so you've got 2,369, and that's all divided then by the square root of STT, which was 1569.428, and so on. And that's being multiplied by SPP, which was 7270. 7270. And if you work that out in your calculator, you end up with 0.70133 and so on. And this, when rounded to three significant figures, is 0.701 to 3SF. Don't forget, you always expect an answer somewhere between minus one and one inclusive okay if you get outside that range you know you've made a mistake well for part c we've now got to interpret the correlation coefficient for one mark and because it's a positive value we've got positive correlation that is that if we were to sketch the graph not that you have to at this stage at all but if you were to look at the graph of P against T, we would expect a positive correlation, that means the points are going up like this, and the graph would be fairly close to a linear model. But we need to answer this in context with what we're given, and that is that as patients, okay, as patients grow older, then what is clearly happening to their blood pressure. Their blood pressure increases, okay? So do make sure you answer it in context, okay? So their blood pressure increases. And there we go.